afternoon. Hundreds of people opposed to HS2, the planned high-speed rail link between London and the Midlands, have gathered to voice their collective concerns. The meeting was the first time groups from across the country had joined together. Once the place for a yearly royal gathering of farmers and livestock, today Stonely Park in Warwickshire played host to a beef of a different kind, anger at the government's plans for a multi-billion pound, 250 mile an hour rail link that would run close to the homes and businesses of people up and down the country. Chipping Warden, South Northamptonshire. I'm from Middleton in Warwickshire. I'm from Boddington, 10 miles north of Ambry. Amersham in South Buckinghamshire. It doesn't just affect the people who are living along the line, it affects every single person in this country. We're, we're losing our local transport, we're having transport investment cuts in order to pay for this. And the further you are away from the line, the less likely you are to benefit from it. But they will take your tax away from your local area in order to pay for it. There's been massive opposition to the plans ever since they were announced two years ago. But this week, Green Gauge 21, a group set up to promote the case for HS2, said that, amongst other things, the line would mean twice as many direct services from Wolverhampton to London, Walsall could have a direct service to London every hour, and there would be more frequent commuter services into London and Birmingham. That doesn't wash, though, with transport expert and author Christian Woolmar. One of the downsides, of course, is that you know, there will be a, a long period before they even start construction, and then uh, I think probably the most disruptive part will be during construction, when there'll be you know, absolutely huge numbers of, of lorries going through in big, big sites and whatever. But I think more important than that is that the long-term effect of this. I, I, I don't think that there is a green case for it at all, certainly not to justify the, the large amount of environmental damage that it will cause. A national consultation period on HS2 begins at the end of this month, but those at today's gathering are aiming to make sure no one forgets their views.